In this video I'm going to be showing you how to evaluate logarithms um, and doing this without a calculator. Um, I've got two steps written down here that usually are pretty helpful. Alright, step one, if we rewrite into exponential form, we take our log form and we rewrite it into exponential form first. Alright, and then that gives us an exponential equation that we can solve. Alright, and the examples here that I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a method where we try to get like bases. Alright, this is, would be very, very common if you were trying to do this without a calculator and the problem worked out such that it would work that way. Alright, so we'll do four examples um, showing hmm, laws of exponents and how that's going to play into this and like four different things that you might see. Alright, in this first um, example here we've got the log of 16 base 2. Alright, now, um, I said first write it into exponential form. Well, it might help you if you put a little equals x on there. That might be easier than for you to see that this is going to be 2 raised to the x equals 16 going back and forth between logarithmic and exponential form. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to write this as 2 raised to the x equals 16. Alright, now, very common method. If I can get like bases here, this is going to be a very easy um, exponential equation to solve. And looking at this, I have a base of 2. Over here at my 16, I can rewrite 16 so that it has a base of 2. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go 2 to the x equals 2 to the 4th, to the 4th being 16. Alright, now, once you get like bases, alright, then you can set your exponents equal to each other. All right, and on this one, turns out to be very, very simple there. It's just x equals 4. All right, so coming back up here, the log of 16 base 2 equals 4. Okay, so I could, if I wanted to write a therefore statement, I could, but otherwise I've just evaluated my log here. The log of 16 base 2 equals 4. Okay, taking a look at our second example right here. Again, I might want to put a little equals x on the end of that. That might help me see what the exponential form is going to be. So step one, I'm going to rewrite this into exponential form. So I'm going to go 7 raised to the x equals 1 over 49. Okay, now I'm going to look at this. All right, and I'm going to think, okay, well... What do I have to do here? It's a 1 over, but I'm not going to mess with that yet just yet. I'm going to look at that 49, and I'm going to think, can I write that as a base with a 7? And I can. I can rewrite 49 as 7 to the second. So then I'm going to go x 7 to the x equals 1 over 7 squared. Now I've got my like bases, so I'm getting closer here, except the only problem is this is in the denominator and I really need it to be in the numerator. So this is where I'm going to implement some laws of exponents. Hopefully you recall that if I move um, a base and its exponent to the opposite location, as in this is in the denominator, I'm going to move it up to the numerator, then I can make that exponent negative. So then I can write x7 raised to the x equals 7 raised to the negative 2. All right, implementing laws of exponents right there. Now I've got my like bases, so then I can set my exponents equal to each other. And again, this one turned out to be pretty simple. x equals negative 2. So when I evaluate this logarithm, I get negative 2. So I could write a therefore statement if I want to. Therefore, the log of 1 over 49 base 7 equals negative 2. All right, in my third example here, I've got the log of 5 base 25. All right, I'm going to start by putting the little equals x on there so that I can easily see how this is going to look in exponential form. So I'm going to rewrite this as 25 raised to the x equals 5. All right, and again, I'm going to ask myself, can I rewrite this 25 so that I have a base of 5? And I can. That's going to be 5 squared. All right, so 5 squared and then raised to the x power equals 5. Okay, now um, power raised to a power. All right, I would multiply those two things, so let's rewrite one more time to get rid of those parentheses. I'd have a 5 raised to the 2x equals a 5 raised to the first. I've got my like bases now, so then I can set those exponents equal to each other. All right, now on this one, I don't have an x by itself. I've got a 2x equals 1. I can solve that equation by dividing 
both sides by 2, so then x is going to equal 1 half. So the answer to my logarithm right here is going to be 1 half. I could write another therefore statement. Therefore, the log of 5 base 25 is equal to 1 half. Okay, on my last example here. We've got the log of the fifth root of 2, base 2. And I'm going to start by putting a little equals x out there so I can easily see how to rewrite this into exponential form. So I'm going to go 2 to the x equals the fifth root of 2. Okay. Now, I want to have exponents here on each one of these. When I've got my like bases, I was wanting to have exponents there so that I could set them equal. So I'm going to, if you recall, how to go from a radical form to an exponential form. There's a little imaginary 1 as your exponent right there. So I could rewrite the fifth root as 2 as 2 raised to the 1 fifth. So then I'm going to have 2 to the x equals 2 to the 1 fifth. All right, now I've already got like bases right here, so now I can immediately set my exponents equal to each other. And this one, not difficult to solve at all because I just have an x, x equals 1 fifth. All right, so evaluating this logarithm, I have an answer of 1 fifth. So therefore, the log of the fifth root of 2, base 2, is equal to 1 fifth. All right, so for examples, and all four examples were in such a way that you could get like bases, all right, which made them um, a little bit simpler in that, in that respect, all right. You had to use radical to exponential form there. You had to do some laws of exponents moving in this one. This one also laws of exponents here, power raised to a power, okay. So reviewing those laws of exponents is probably going to help tremendously, especially if you're trying to evaluate these logarithms by hand. Definitely thanks for watching. Be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.